I'm going to succeed and I'm going to get somewhere. We're pretty proud to have music. Not many DPS schools have music, and we also have art. Well, the importance of art education is that it allows students to use the highest levels of cognitive function. The jobs of tomorrow will require you to be flexible, to synthesize new ideas, to evaluate what you're doing and what's happening around you, and to create. Job models change continuously, and part of art is not just teaching students how to draw or paint, but teaching them how to flex, how to problem solve, how to take what I'm asking them to do and put some of themselves into it, to look at history, to look at culture, pull all these things together and make themselves ready for what the future will ask of them tomorrow. Every year I hold an event in the library, which um, is, uh, has tents, as you can see by the pictures. I set up a bunch of tents, and the children are invited to come and choose books, and the books are donated from, this year they were donated from um, Our Lady of Good Counsel uh, Girl Scout Troop, and also from Central Middle School in Plymouth. And I wrote, uh, different schools donate the books every year. They have a book drive and donate to our school. And then we have the students from our school come in, choose some books, and go in the tents and read with their friends. It's just a fun event to try to get students motivated to read. And they really enjoy it. And then this year we had a, a theme of the, the rainbow fish. So we had rainbow fish cupcakes. And they do get to take the books home. We had the opportunity to join with Girls Point North uh, with the science department, Sue Spears. She has a group of seniors who are already taking courses with DMC. Uh, they all are wanting to be in the medical field. So Sue asked us if we'd like to join in merging with them to talk about skin cancer. And these nine students set up a 90-minute uh, presentation that the objectives were all met with glickies across Michigan and our students joined them a week ago today. We um, learned the different skin cancers, third degree burns, frostbite, uh, mosquitoes, and they had the opportunity to have hands on with microscopes. They also did um, understanding of tag through bad cell versus good cell. It was a wonderful experience. We learned a tremendous amount from them. And had it not been for um, Miss Ridgeway and also Miss Taylor Costins, this wouldn't have happened. I really love science. I've always loved it. Um, I've only been going to this school for just this year, but the teacher here, Miss Stevenson, she really teaches science well. So inside the mobile clinic, there are two exam rooms. There is a third exam room that we've actually turned into an office towards the front. There's a lab area, um, and in the lab area you can do multiple tests, uh, many of which you can get the results on the spot. And then we also have immunizations on board um, in case kids are behind or um, uh, you know, come in for a physical and need to be updated. Obviously none of this would be possible without the amazing staff on board that works with the staff inside the schools, uh, including Samson Weber and, and the other schools that we visit to coordinate services and, and provide um, uh, much better care to our children. I think Samson is a very special school. We meet the needs of all our students, whatever they need. We obtain for them. We, everybody comes together. All the teachers work together. And if at any time anyone needs help, you never feel that there isn't someone you can't go to to help you, no matter what. If they're on a prep, if it's their lunch, they readily give it up to help you or a student. Every day at lunch, I have my students in here tutoring working on the computer, whatever they need, they have.